check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hello, fellas. So today I'm gonna give a very quick overview of this Uliphone Armor 6 phone. It's one of the most rugged phones out there. You can throw it, you can you know, run a car over it and it still won't get damaged. So let's get started, but before that, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon so that you can receive notifications of the latest upcoming videos. But let's move forward. So I've been waiting for this phone for quite a while now and I've already opened this up by the way, I'm just reopening. I, I, this is not an old uh, review thingy, but it's just an overview. So I just wanted to let you know that this is the Uliphone Armor 9 phone. It's the IP69K or IP68 proof. That means that you can put this phone in water for 30 minutes up to 5 feet deep and it still will work. This is 6.3 full high definition, 64 megapixels rear camera. Then it has 8 cores, 66 milliampere hour battery. That's gonna last for three to four days. I've tested that and it really works for three and a half to four days, depending upon how you use it. If you really use it very often, still it would last three days. And then we have 8 GB of RAM and 128 gigabytes of ROM. But, 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 I've not bought this camera for, uh, uh, this mobile for all this stuff. I bought this for this, thermal imaging. I feel it, this is one of the best companies that make the thermal cameras. And that's the FLIR. This is what it looks like from the rear side. We have three cameras and then we have this really nice thermal imaging module. Okay, so that's about the phone. It comes with a couple of manuals, a detailed manual, and some warranty card, uh, phone charging instructions, multifunction instructions, and then this is a uh, tempered glass. I don't really know why they sent this because this phone uh, you can run over by a car and it still won't break. And we have a SIM card right here. And this is a beautiful packing. It comes with this tag, or whatever you want to call it. And then we have a USB-C, the normal USB female type connector. And then we have another USB-C type to normal micro USB connector. And we have a really powerful, really large quick charger what it says it's from Uliphone and this is a fast charger 5 volts of course I mean output says 5 volts 7 volts and 9 volts I don't know what that really means I mean I know what that means but this these phones normally take up to take 5 volts normally and 1.5 amperes which is pretty good okay so let's put this back and then we have a really nice looking red colored USB-C type cable. Okay, so let's power this beast up. I'll take this off, turn this on. By the way, I just told you that I have already used this phone a couple of times. only thing is that the fingerprint sensor is right here it's conveniently placed where your thumb is then you have the power button your sim tray sim card it is it's, it's a, not like normally today it's a dual sim and then this is the port for giving uh, it comes with an endoscopy phone and also buy that one as well then this is a button dedicated to a particular application that you want it for then the volume rocker on the top is the this is the, you know, uh, of course your headphone jack 
and then on the bottom side it's the USB-C type cable which is not very convenient to open but it's made like this because it is supposed to prevent any kind of water going in there like I told you that it can sustain up to 5 feet and really dipped in water so I'm gonna do it's not one thing I found about this phone is that it's not really very fast for sensing the fingerprint if you see it took a little bit of while I, I mean I don't really care about this because as far as as, as it opens okay not that bad but not 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 really the fastest okay so I have a lot of applications already installed I don't want to go into those what I want to show is the thermal imaging that's what I bought this phone for so this is the thermal imaging it overlaps with the real image so you see this is the wire so you could adjust the image of the wire to the thermal image so it overlaps really nicely and here is my hand okay it's telling me also the temperature I am in a air conditioned room so I'm a little bit cold at this point but then you could add number of uh, points for your temperature you could swipe them around the screen where you want them you can add more points just like this it's really cool so I'm gonna touch the table this thing is really cool so you see my hand when I leave you cannot see anything but it still shows the footprint I mean not the footprint but the fingerprints of my hand they're still there it shows that someone touched this table and it's still showing the temperature you see this thing is really cool so guys right now I'm making the this video with a thermal camera and um, uh, I haven't turned on the thermal imaging so what I'm gonna do is I, ju I just heat it up water and a thermos up to 100 degrees and it's been a while maybe it's just 80 something degrees but let's see how it looks as I pour and the water Look at that. Wow. I've never seen anything like this before. Did you see that? How? So, okay, in front of this, so it's relative, you see. My, now, my body temperature looks colder than what, what the water is. The water is around 78, 77 degrees, and it's getting colder. It will get colder, of course, with time. Look at this. This is a beautiful imagery. From the top, you could clearly see how the water currents are, you know, evolving, revolving, whatever. Beautiful. So, guys, that's all from my side today. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon so that you can receive notifications of such cool videos upcoming in the future. So, see you later guys. Bye bye.